Kevin Sloan, the director of the University Rover Challenge for the Mars Society. For the last couple of years, Protocase has done an awesome job of uh, giving us great setups to use on our equipment servicing task where teams have to actually go and work on hardware. And last year, we're out in the field watching teams compete on the panel. We came up with this great idea that we would uh, give Protocase the ability to put all of their creative talent, apply it towards this task, and see what they could come up with for this year. And over the course of the year, we, uh, we just started to iterate on a design. Uh, Protocase really had the lead on the create event on, uh, on figuring out what shape this was going to take and figuring out a way to incorporate all these tasks into things. So the URC staff and the Protocase team worked together to create the lander. From uh, a few sketches early on, and we got to a uh, CAD model with the Protocase team. They really put a lot of the, the design into the actual lander itself. And then the URC staff put a lot of effort into the actual components that we wanted to interface with. So the switches, the, the door handle, the keyboard, uh, the display that's inside. Uh, also the card slot was entirely designed by the URC staff originally. Uh, we went to Protocase, they uh, did some fine adjustments on that and then integrated it into the final product. With this redesign, we really wanted to give Protocase the, the opportunity to step up and decide what form this was going to take. Uh, it, was a, it was a surprise as we got to see this come along. Uh, it was definitely a pleasure to watch the design evolve over time as well because it was all, all new to us. Once we had all the information from the team, uh, we knew what tasks they wanted to do. So then it was basically come up with a shape and the style they kind of wanted to go with, or we wanted to go with, was a, like an older style rocket, tripod, conical, cylindrical, tall kind of thing. Uh, and that's kind of what it ended up going with. Um, the, most other things were just, they laid it out what they wanted to see. So I took basically everything that the team sent to me uh, and made it a reality. came here, flat pack, and we assembled it, and it was massive, and it looks awesome. Uh, the teams were, I think they were shocked to see how awesome this thing was when they got here. Uh, I think some of them might have been concerned as to how challenging some of the tasks were, uh, but that's what they're here for. They're here for a good challenge, and we do give them one of the best, I think, in the world. So the rover is expected to load a sample container into this notional rocket that's gonna be headed back towards Earth, they have to be able to interface with a, a number of control panels that are intended for a human operator to use. Uh, and they have to be able to accomplish all this, flip switches, open and close different access panels, which is, again, another very complex movement. Actually type on a keyboard, which is one of our more challenging tasks. We wanted to be able to have some electronics interface as well. So we incorporated a electronics card slot that had a, a card edge connector that would require uh, some decent insertion force and also uh, removal force for the teams to get it out of the lander successfully. The, the Mars lander was really cool. I liked the, all the different panels on the sides. Um, it allowed for a lot more complicated tasks that we got to complete. Um, it was definitely challenging, um, but it was a lot of fun to accomplish these new tasks that we've never seen at the competition before. When I first learned that we had to type on a keyboard, I was actually kind of terrified because I'd seen our previous robotic arm like smash into things and break itself um, and break other things. And I was like, oh God, they're going to make us like punch this keyboard. And I thought we were going to like just punch through it, but um, we learned how to be delicate. Um, we got um, inverse kinematics working, uh, so we were able to do it like gently and it was very precise and it looked so good. So we had to learn how to make the arm control very smooth and precise so we can actually type on very small keys. Um, so that required a lot of math and inverse kinematics and implementation that we had really never done before. Um, so it was really exciting to get to see it work at competition. And those types of new challenges are what really make the, the competition a lot of fun and really drive forward innovation. This has been uh, just an absolutely tremendous step forward for the University Rover Challenge. We've come up with very engineering-centric panels in the past where we have you know, a static display, it might be a rectangular board, or in the past, 
we've had just large boxes with multiple faces. It was very practical, it got the job done for the teams, uh, but it, we needed to take things to the next level. And really that's where you need a professional organization who can come in that has that manufacturing expertise. They know what is possible, they know how to drive that vision forward as you come up with that design. That's where Protocase really stepped up. Uh, the teams I think were excited to be able to work on a panel that fit within the context of, of Mars exploration. It was something that you could actually expect a rover to have to do on Mars. I've done a lot of designs, you know, large, small, but uh, this to see something that uh, potentially somebody could use their training in outer space, it's, you know, really cool, you know, something not everybody gets to do. So it, it really just helps build uh, the, the story behind University Rover Challenge. It helps us integrate that much more closely into the Mars Desert Research Station here so that we become just a natural extension of the human space exploration on Mars and fitting into that entire construct. So I, I think Protocase has helped us take a big step forward. I'm excited to see what we can do next. I know there, there's nothing but opportunity ahead and this has really just given us a starting point for thinking about how we can go forward and challenging these teams and creating an exciting vision for the teams.